Hey guys, welcome to the video, welcome to the channel. Uh, I'm TP Boomer, Paul, or Trip Buzzard, whichever way you want to call it. Um, today we are going to be taking my 240 AIO out of my system. We're going to brutalise it, inject it with some steroids, because let's be honest, the 240 is like the adolescent teenager of the Arctic family. Uh, so we're going to rip that out brutalize it and cut it apart and then we're going to inject it with some steroids to make it more able to handle the 12900 ks that i've got underneath it uh, before anyone comes at me i had the cooler before the cpu um so the steroids that we are going to inject in question are going to be this corsair xr5 120 little baby copper radiator um it's just going to give us an extra fin stack. Uh, yes, I could just go get a Arctic 360 and put it into my system and call it a day. Uh, firstly, between the radiator, the the pure water, and the fittings, it cost me about sixty quid. Whereas a 360 Arctic Freezer Two would be about one hundred and twenty quid. So I've saved myself 60 quid doing it this way. Obviously, you know, if I, if I fuck up, I haven't got a cooler for my system and then I can't play games. So let's hope that doesn't happen. But um, there's a fun in that. I mean, the, the whole point of this channel is that I get to destroy my warranties for your entertainment. Uh, so saying that, let's get on with it, shall we? Shall we, uh, let's get this uh, cooler out, get it cut up, get this other radiator on and uh, see how the results worked out, eh? Let's go. Just so you know that I'm not bullshitting. There she is. There it is, there it is. The old uh, 12900KS. I'm going to explain my course of action now. Right, as you can see, I've marked this pipe here. Now, the thing is, this other pipe, fortunately, this other pipe here, let me uh, just yeah so yeah this other pipe here this is the one that carries the cabling for the fans and i don't want to have to relocate the cables for the fans and stuff so i'm i'm, I'm just not going to do that right so fortunately i was going to always go to cut this one first anyway but after after studying the way these this works this block works it seems to pull water, dump it onto the fin stack, and then the pump, which is over here, suck that back off and kick it that way. Now, if that's the case, then hopefully, because of the way I've got this orientated in the, the I'm going to have this orientated in the case, I'm going to have this, this 120 there with fans sucking air through it, not as an exhaust, but as an intake. So... This is gonna ha this is gonna have fresh, fresh cool air getting sucked across it constantly, and this is its last port of call before it gets dumped into on top of the fin stack. So I'm hoping that this is gonna work. I mean, I've done all of all of the guesswork that I can do. So I did all the research to see what what pipe work there is in here. Um, so that the barbs that I get are going to be the right size. 
or, or I've got a tiny bit bigger so that I can stretch them on. I don't know whether that's a good good idea or a bad idea. There's only one mil. So as long as cutting this goes okay and uh, getting it onto the radiator goes okay, we'll be all right. Now I intend to do what I intend to do first before I even think about cutting that is I intend to fill this as much as I can with just pure water uh, so that when I cut that and then stab it onto here there's as little air pocket that I'm introducing to the system as possible um, after after I've got this on and it's not leaking um, what we're going to do is we are then going to basically we're, we're going to use the method that everyone tells you to use to refill these so I'm going to show you that as well uh, um, so these are the these are the barbs that I've got. Uh, they don't look amazing, but they should get the job done. Um, I only need two of them. Uh, obviously, we've got the screws there. I've made little rubber spaces to go on the other spaces because basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to lift this the fan about about this much. <laughs> About this much, I've got this little rubber taped down bit that I can strap around it. But about this much off the radiator, because I'm facing it um, acoustically, it's just going to be better if I if I if I space it off the radiator. So, right. So first and foremost, let's get some water into here before we even think about cutting anything. <laughs> I'm going to try and do this as I want to try and get it in as a smooth motion as possible and I've got to keep in my brain where this is supposed to go in a, a, in association with that and this one's supposed to go on this one do as I say not as I do guys do as I say not as I do Again, don't copy me. I don't know what I'm doing. But there's the uh, piano, is it? Piano wire strengthening thing that they say they have in here. Right. So there's already a bit of an air gap in there. Right. So I'm going to do this so that it don't. I don't want these getting tangled so that needs to be over there, doesn't it? So we're gonna like literally just right, things are gonna get wet. I've gotta be okay with the fact the fact that things are gonna get wet. Starting to go on here. Keep it on this way, it causes me pain. Right, that one's on. Now for this one.
So on before my neck starts hitting, please. I oh, don't do that. Start doing like fucking goddamn idiot. Which one are you? Nope. 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 Too big, Dan. Right now, I need to get that uh, microfiber in here. Make sure that um, ain't got no leaks. And then, I want to make sure that it's bone dry so that if it does show moisture, I can be like. It's leaking, and then we can sort it before I take it close to all the expensive electronics. E. Right, the cable tag with this thing. It's a bit of shit. I'll get some some tape or something to make this look pretty. But for now, zip ties. So as long as that's not leaking, we can do the. The top up of the system. So, all I'm going to do is just make sure that these radiators are as uh, free from air as it can be. And we get this up at the very top of the loop. So, what we're going to do is this hot plate here. Uh, these four screws, we're going to take them off and we're going to keep this at the very tippy top of the system. I'm going to try, I'm going to, I'm going to try and do a big brain move and tuck that into my sleeve there so it gets, stays out of the way. I'm going to try not to spill anything onto there, otherwise, we'll have to wait for it to dry out before we can continue. So, I just got to make sure that there's not a, some massive air pocket in the system from me putting that radiator on there and then we can set the fan up on the radiator and then we can get everything back in the system and i'm done so obviously then i've got to do some benchmarking and stuff but then i can come back to you guys uh, i will be streaming very soon are you for serious are these lips are you... Oh my, really? There's, there's, you've got one job. There's four screws here and they're different sizes. Well, I've seen two different sizes. Is it, am I going to see three different sizes? No, it's just two. Right, now, I only do this if you're competent. I'm not competent, I'm just, uh, I just like to faff. So yeah, we've got two different sizes for each side. So in there, see, look at all that air. Look at all that air. See, there's some scum build up there as well. So we'll, 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 we'll fix that in a better moment. Uh, but in fact, I kind of just want to fix that now. What is that? I mean, there's some scum of some sort on that. Can you, can you see it? A couple of lines of scum. What's going on, Arctic? What's going on? 
What's going on? What, what, what the hell is that on my foot? On my fins? Or what the fuck is that? Alright, anyway, let me, let me see if I can uh, sort that out quickly with this uh, microfiber. Um, I would have put it all the way over there, wouldn't I? Right, so, I just roll along the, the grain of the thing. We shouldn't get anything stuck. But we did get a bit of scum. Look how empty it is in there. Look how empty. Right, so what basically what I'm gonna do is holding this is at the top of the loop. I can see the top of the water level. So it's not gonna take much. But all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring that water level up to the top. And then I'm just gonna plonk this back on, tighten it down. Fortunately the seal is part of this, so I can't really mess that up. Um and yeah, no, at least we know we've done something. Cause this fin stock was uh, was minking. I mean, I've seen worse stuff, but it, it definitely had a build up of something on there. So right, let me hold that so that I can get the level right. I've got to be very careful with this ball now. For fuck's sakes. What did I say straight away, yeah? I'm going to make sure that I don't pour water onto that bit there. And, like... It's like clockwork, isn't it? Is this like clockwork? No, be splashing just... Get it in there. Right, see, that to me is full now. I lift it up, it doesn't change. So, I'm going to have to take a little bit off it. So I'll use this, this microfiber. And it's power of suction. Did you fucking see that? There we go. Right, so that is sufficiently full. Water's up to the to the stack that hits this sufficiently full. Right, so I'll put these screws back in here. Longs ones for this side, won't they? The long ones were this side, weren't they? Right. Yes, they were right. Yeah, just put that in place. I want to go get the opposite corner in, so there's at least some sort of tension because I did kind of take that really tight then. Again, do not attempt anything like this unless you have either. No regard for your warranty or um, your cool uh, or, or your AIO is past that warranty or or you're genuinely skilled with like mechanical stuff and technical stuff. Like if you're competent for it, just go ahead. Yeah, I'm not. I'm basically I'm not giving you a. I'm just showing you what I'm doing. All right. I'm not. <sighs> Trying to uh, tell you to do this. But I'm going to show you what I'm doing and I'm going to show you the results from it. Right, so as far as I'm concerned, that is now an extended loop. It's now got an extra radiator in it and uh, should be, should help with cooling. Right, so I'm going to get this fan on here now.
This all back in the case now, because um, there's there's no there's no liquid, so it's obviously not leaking from anywhere, in any way. So I think that's I think successful. <laughs> right, uh, thermal paste. You get the paste. You get me the thermal paste. As always, we're going to use ourselves some uh, Thermal Grizzly Cryo Nought. Um, uh, it's just good shit, basically. Um, although I do have quite a hot chip. So, I do feel like I probably need to um, top it up a little bit more regularly as uh, it is known to dry out at uh, at temperatures over 80 degrees at hand. Yep, I am a paster. Uh, I like the full coverage. Um, I usually do the full coverage and then I put a, a blob in the middle uh, to alleviate any air pockets that might appear from the cooler being dropped down onto it so and uh, if you're wondering do I believe that the uh, the contact frame is is a uh, is ne necessary for 12 gem um I would like to wear uh, I would like to wear uh, Exhibit A. Exhibit A. There's 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 a there's a there's a reason why that contact frame is there. Um, I put it on after I've been using the chip for a little bit. Now, right. Don't get me wrong. If you've got a, uh, like I said, right to, to put a little extra blob in the middle, just to. Uh, Review that uh, air pocket. I watched the video on it. And here's the finished result. Uh, so you guys know I did go back in and reorganize the pipework and now it's looking like some Arctic Leviathan creeping its way out of my CPU socket. And I'm kind of here for it. I kind of like it. I kind of like the way it looks. Um, and we'll get on to the results now. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm more than happy with the fact that it's just not leaking. You know, <laughs> it's always a plus. But uh, yeah, let's get on with the results, shall we? Right guys, started out with a 3D Mark CPU test. As you can see, we've improved across the board uh, with a before max temp of 93 degrees and an after max temp of 84 degrees. So that's an improvement across the board. That's freaking awesome. Now going into Time Spy. Uh, on Time Spy, 
again, uh, if you have a look, we've got uh, an increase of what? 800 points, five, 500 points on the CPU test, which is awesome. Also, uh, the before temps were 92 degrees with the 240 mil and uh, 86 degrees on the max temps with that Chad AIO. So again, massive improvement there uh, for Time Spy. I, mean, I ran Time Spy and Fire Strike just so that uh, I had an idea when it came to sort of like gaming and the performance. Um, going into Time Spy, uh, Fire Strike. Uh, again, as you can see, uh, on the CPU and the com the combined score, we've got an improvement on both, uh, an improvement overall, and uh, the temperatures on the loser prepubescent 240 AIO, uh, it maxed out at 84 degrees in this test, and the steroid infused 240 plus 120 Chad AIO, uh, that maxed out at 79 degrees. So uh, again, it's running cooler and faster. So exactly what we wanted to see. Uh, like I said, um, there will be a follow-up video on a teardown on that 3060, so you can see how it's doing what it's doing. Uh, right, over onto Cinebench, uh, we, we've basically improved again both. They're, they're both sort of max out around the same sort of temps, early, early 90s, because uh, it's still a 12900KS on a basic BIOS. It's still trying to push everything that it can until it throttles. So, uh, but we have got a, an improvement on score of about a thousand points almost on the, on the multi-core and uh, the single cores up as well. So that's a bonus. Right, going into uh, Cinebench 2024 as our last test for, for this CPU upgrade, this cooler upgrade. Uh, as Again, as you can see, we have improved across the board. Uh, the scores are a little bit smaller on this one, but it is what it is. Uh, she performs better uh, after, after the uh, cool has been changed over, so that's been really good. Uh, also, that, that score on that 3060 is um, outperforming a W6600, uh, which is an AMD GPU, which is like pff, basically double the card that that is. So, uh, again, watch out for that video coming up. Hit that subscribe button. So, how did we get on? Um, I, I genuinely believe that uh, this is a, this is a good this is worked out. Uh, I saved myself sixty quid. I've got far better cooling. Uh, I'm getting better scores across the board. Um, yeah, it worked out really well. Um, it's again it again. I will reiterate: this is not a tutorial. Do not copy me. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, as it turned out, it worked out well. Um, but. Yeah, it, I'm, I'm really happy with the results. Uh, my, my PC in general is working so much better across the board. Um, also coming up, we do have a teardown video on the 3060 coming up where I'm going to repaste it and stuff and you'll get to see what I've done to that card to allow it to perform the way it performs at the temperatures that it performs at. Um, so look out for that, hit the subscribe button, don't forget to hit that, like the video because, you know, algorithms. Um, hit that notification bell, I will try and be a bit more active in uh, what I release. Um, I've, got a lot of, I've got a lot of content coming up this year, uh, we're going to be messing around with a lot of tech. Uh, so yeah, hit that, hit that subscribe button, follow me, let's go. Let's... Till the next one, see you later.